Welcome back to my channel, Practically Home. I'm Aubrey, and if you guys are new here, hi and welcome. So my room has this really awkward nook. I don't know what the builder was thinking. It doesn't make sense for this room, but it is what it is, and I'm here to deal with it. So my first initial thought for this little five foot space is to put an accent chair, maybe a floor length mirror, and like maybe a floor lamp, something of that little situation. But after really thinking about it, it just made more sense to turn this into more of a functional space for myself. And it's perfect timing because there's no better way to kick off the new year than with a office makeover. Okay, so when designing this space, I only have, this space is only five feet wide. So it is only five feet and like an inch. So I knew that's kind of what I had to work with. Initially, my first thought process was I want a desk because I feel like I can be much more productive when I have a dedicated workspace. I do YouTube videos, but I also paint. I have my own paint shop and I just wanted a dedicated space where I could sit down and I can get some stuff done. And this was a perfect opportunity to create my own little work oasis, if you will. The desk was definitely a must. I also wanted the desk to have a little bit of storage. So this desk I purchased from World Market. This is their natural wood writing desk. This desk is absolutely beautiful. I love it. It was a very well worth it purchase in my opinion. I thought the price was very decent and I love the color of this. I actually saw this desk in person before I ordered it online, which was great because I was really cons I wanted the right wood tone to also go with my bedroom since my office is in my bedroom. I wanted it to feel cohesive with the rest of the room. So this desk was a perfect addition. This desk also has a nice drawer for a little bit of storage. I try not to over clutter my workspace because it naturally gets cluttered over time. So I try and keep everything a little bit minimal and then it will pile up and then you clean it up. So I try to keep just my necessities in my desk. But this writing desk was perfect. It fits with about an half an inch on each side. So it was a perfect addition for this nook. So once I knew the desk that I wanted, I wanted to add some color to my office. I feel like it just needed a little bit of something. And my entire house is painted in the color Snowbound. So even my room is painted white. So I wanted to add some color. And I will be doing a master bedroom makeover that will be coming out in the next week and a half, two weeks. I'm almost done with it. I got a few more things and I'm waiting on a couple more things coming in the mail. Um, I don't want to give away too many hints. I am adding a nice color and this is the color you see behind me. So I want to show you guys the color swatches that I was thinking for my office. And lately I've just been loving like hues of green. So these are the color swatches that I was kind of just contemplating, like kind of just thinking about and going through. These are the ones that I gravitated towards. These are all from Sherman Williams. So when I was there, I just, what's nice about adding a color last is that you can pick a color that goes with the rest of your furniture. So I really love the ripe olive. I just did my husband's office in this. I haven't shared that video yet. That is cause that is coming. So I did already use this color, which I really love and this can be in my son's room. So this was a no for my room. I didn't want our whole house to be dark olive green. So then I was kind of left with these four hues. This is the evergreen fog right here, which is a really nice, it almost looks like it's more in like the grayish tone of greens. So it's a bit more muted. And then I have sage, sage green light, and then earth green, which is this really, really light green in the back. Let me show you guys these swatches up close. So this is, I thought this was a really nice green. I just thought, I don't know. I didn't want to go too green, but 
um, I ended up going for this color right here and this is in the color Evergreen Fog. Excuse my nails because I just ripped my acrylics off because I've been painting. So excuse my nails, but this is the, uh, in the color Evergreen Fog. I absolutely love it. Now if you ask my husband, he questioned it. He was like, ah, I, I don't know. I bit the bullet and I went a little bit out of my comfort zone so I uh, went with this color evergreen fog. I think I gravitated towards because it's on more of the muted side and it just goes really well with the natural wood tones in my room. So for my nook, I wanted to add some color. So I went with the evergreen fog and I painted it about just a little less, just a little bit more than a fourth of the wall. I don't know how else to describe that to you guys, but I added it and I also painted the baseboards as well. So it just made it look a bit more custom and it definitely did. So instead of just doing a really thin um, straight line, I also wanted to go in and add some crown molding. This is a very thin piece of crown molding you guys can buy from Home Depot. It costs about $7 for one piece of crown molding. So all in, I was about $100 for the crown molding for the room. So just to give you guys a price idea, but it just adds that soft little touch. The room felt a little bit modern, leaving it without doing the crown molding, and I definitely am not going for a modern look. Going for more of like a transitional, classy type of feel. So I feel like the crown molding definitely soft up the look for the space. All right, so next I want to talk about the floating shelves behind me. I wanted to add um, some shelving because it just makes sense for this space. Now, funny story, I actually added two floating shelves, but um, the studs in our room did not line up with any of the holes for the floating shelves. So we ended up using the dry the dry wall screws that it came with and long story short, the top shelf ended up falling out of the wall. It broke a couple pots. I lost a couple pieces of artwork. It was a bit of a mess. So um, we're, we just have one floating shelf and I actually think it looks better with just one. So maybe that was like a meant to be situation. But um, yeah, it fell out of the wall. It wasn't secured. And I also think maybe their item, the items I had on it were a little bit too heavy, which is really unfortunate because it looks so cute. So anyways, I am, I am fine with just this one floating shelf. It is perfect for this space and I also think it helps to not have too much clutter in this little area. So long story short, I did find these floating shelves from Target. They are, the floating shelf itself is really good quality. I pair it with some, just some books, a little bit of artwork. I also have this cute little plant that's my daughter's. She loves to come in here and just check on it, give it a little bit of water. So up here, I just kind of lightly decorated it. It's nothing crazy. I framed one of my um, favorite paintings. It's also, it was a free digital, digital download for December, um, which is not available anymore. It's sold out. But anyway, so I have that painting framed, which I absolutely love. And then on this side, I just have another painting and just some, and then just a nice little canister. I can keep little stuff in it. So that's very simple, very easy, nothing crazy up on top. So for this desk, I really wanted to, I love flowers. I love gardening, I love plants, I definitely have a green thumb. So for my workspace, I love to have some type of greenery. It also just helps like clean the air. Anyways, it has lots of great benefits, but also they looks beautiful and gorgeous. So I wanted to dress up my desk with some fresh plants. And I also love, 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 love pottery. So I am a little crazy about pottery. I love it, there's something about it that just feels so, I don't even know the word. Unique and earthy and I don't know, I just love it. So I love pottery. So I love dressing my desk with some pottery, also with some plants. I love this one. This is just from a local garden center. So I love the green hues in it. I thought that was a really nice addition. So I don't plant these in the pots themselves. I do keep them in the little, um, as leaves 
are falling um, but I do keep them in the pot so that way it's just easy to water and then I have another terracotta pot that is a vase these are just fresh cut flowers that I put on my desk for this video I don't always have fresh cut flowers on my desk it would be nice but for this video I did put some a nice ray of just a fresh bouquet of greens and some beautiful flowers and it just smells amazing. Also looks amazing. Anyways, I love fresh flowers. So anyways, I like to dress my desk with some flowers. I also have this wooden pedestal, which I also purchased from my local garden center as well. Super affordable. It was about $22 or so. So that's nice because it gives some height to the desk. You guys know me. I always have a candle burning one way or another. Um, so this one is just from Hobby Lobby. This is in the scent Sugar Rose. It smells so divine, it smells super fresh. So I have that currently burning on my desk. And then in this little glass jar, these jars are from Ikea. And I, you guys can put whatever you want in them. But currently I have some seeds I'm gonna be planting for the springtime from Florette. I actually purchased these last summer um, and I didn't have anywhere to plant them because we were renting. So anyways, this upcoming year, these seeds will be getting planted. I'm very excited for that. And then I just have some of my shop uh, practically home labels in here. So I just kind of keep things in here um, in this glass container. I swap it out every now and then. What I love about painting is that it doesn't take up a ton of space. I like to paint on eight by 10 canvases. So this little painting that I have is on an eight by 10 canvas. It's nice because I could just put it on a small easel and I just get my paints out. I have all of my different brushes that I use when I paint. Look, I don't even bother to take the price tag <laughs> off of them. But anyways, these are just a bunch of my paint brushes that I am always using. So I keep those just right here on the desk. So it's easy access, but I also love these glass containers. And this one's also from Ikea as well. So because my little office nook is behind my door, I wanted to not, I didn't want to have a chair because I knew that the, door would hit the chair and just kind of like drive me nuts. So I wanted to find something that would tuck underneath this desk. And this is the ottoman from Target. This is by Studio McGee. This is their line. Um, this is just one of their ottoman poofs I absolutely love. I will link everything down below in the description box that I can, um, that I purchased for my working space. But this is a perfect ottoman. I also love how the stripe just kind of off it just adds a nice little touch to my desk and in this area just feels very me and it makes me very happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed my office makeover. I will link everything that I can down below in the description box in case you want to shop similar items for yourself. If you guys missed it, don't forget to check out my bathroom makeover down below. This bathroom turned out spectacular and you don't want to miss it.